over all of the deals that are happening starting August 28th on Ulta. It's the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. So we're just going to do an overview over everything and I'm going to give you my thoughts. Now, in the past, I've been very, very negative about this sale because I feel like these are very repetitive deals and as somebody with such a large makeup collection, it's not really as exciting to me, but I'm going to kind of take a step back for this sale. I'm going to look at it through the lens of somebody who maybe doesn't have the largest makeup collection because this is such a good opportunity to pick up some really great staple products, especially if you do have a smaller makeup collection and maybe don't have the newest and most trendy products. This sale is perfect for you. I'm taking a look at everything right now as somebody with my perspective who has a lot of makeup, which I know a lot of you guys do. There actually are quite a few interesting deals that I think I want to get in on, but generally speaking, not really a sale that I'm normally into. But this year, I do think that they stepped it up. Oh, and by the way, because I know I'm going to get questions about my makeup, I filmed this full face tutorial for my Beauty Buffs membership. So if you are a member, this tutorial is coming very soon. And if you're not, no pressure to join. I will have all the links to what I'm wearing down below. But She's a good one. So pretty. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna head over to the Ulta website right now. I will have the link down to the page for you to check it out. So here is the page. We're gonna start off right here with Sunday, August 28th. You can see it's 50% off must-haves. Let's get into it. I don't want to take too much of your time. 50% off MAC bullet lipsticks, making them only $10.50. This is a great deal if you're in need for some lip products. MAC has really great lipsticks. I'm happy that MAC is fully at Ulta now, so there's a lot of opportunities to get a lot of colors. And even though not as many people talk about MAC lipsticks, they still are really great. Velvet Teddy and Mare are ones at the top of my head that I can think of are really, really great. So definitely recommend that. Next, we have the Sharp. Sharp, why do I always say that? The Tarte Shape Tape Cloud CC Cream for $20. A really great price to pick up a high-end foundation. I've never tried this, so I can't speak on the quality about that. What I am interested in is the 50% off Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere Eau de Tolles. I sounded really stupid saying that, but the fresh cream is what really interests me because I do love that smell from Philosophy. So this will make it between $23 to $29. You guys know perfumes aren't as expensive. So that fresh cream scent, I am thinking about potentially picking up. And then we also have the 50% off Philosophy night creams as well. When I first started off using skincare, it was Philosophy. Won't be picking that up, but you know. And then the L'Occitane Ultra Rich Body Cream, which has very low ratings. So I've never tried it, but I probably wouldn't recommend that. Monday, August 29th. So we have some Diamond and Platinum exclusives. So you have to be a certain tier in their rewards program. But one of those is going to be the Shape Tape Glow from Tarte, making it only $14.50. I've never tried this before, so I can't speak on that, but that is exciting because that's a fairly new product from Tarte, and they are known for their concealers. LMS is also having 50%, obviously it's 50% off, I can stop saying that, but the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads, LMS is a great brand, very pricey. I've heard very good things about this for $30, and 50% off Nude Sticks Select Kit. So I have been recently decluttering my collection and I can't get myself to get rid of my old nude sticks because I just love them so much. So this excites me because maybe this is my opportunity to refresh those nude sticks and have new ones in my collection. So I'm definitely going to look into this one when the sale comes about so that I can refresh my collection a little bit. I'm actually wearing Bondi Bay right now. Excited about that. If you've never tried nude sticks, I definitely recommend that one. Tuesday, August 30th, we have a lot. The one that I'm excited about is 50% off the Luminous Foundation from ABH, making it only $19. I actually decluttered mine because the packaging was broken, so I am considering picking this up. I know this was on sale, the last sale, but I really do like this foundation. I find it really creates a smooth canvas for me, so I think I might pick that up to have in my collection. Also 50% off Clinique Eyeliners. Haven't really heard anything about Clinique Eyeliners. Tula So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. I like Tula, the few products that I do have. I don't have a ton, but I've never tried this. And then the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. I get this in samples all the time. So honestly, if I were you, unless you love this, I would hold off because I feel like every time 
I get like a glam bag or a gift with purchase, I always get this. They literally give it out like candy. And then awesome, 50% off select black owned products. So looks like there's gonna be some Oma, some Key Soul Care. I think that's Beauty Counter. So this is exciting as well. I will definitely put this on my community tab when we can get a better look of what exactly is going to be on sale. Actually, you probably can tell. Yeah, so this is what's going to be on sale. Beauty stat, okay. Juvia's Place, so this will be $7.50. That's pretty incredible. Lots of Juvia's Place lip products. Okay, yeah, I will definitely be sharing that when we get to that because that's a really good deal. Wednesday, August 31st, 50% off of all Too Faced Brow. Okay, if you're gonna shop this, you need to pick up the Fluff and Hold Laminating Brow Wax. This is my current favorite eyebrow gel and it is $25 so it will be $12.50. I haven't tried anything else but this is an absolute must-have. I'm not going to end up doing this but I'm halfway considering picking it up because I love it so much and I never want to run out. So that right there is the most exciting deal on that day. Also 50% off the Smashbox and Becca under eye brightener. I would consider picking this up because mine is quite old, only $16.50. Interesting that this is a sale item. Definitely haven't seen it on sale, but they also are having the Becca and Smashbox highlighters on sale. I would hold off on this because you can probably get the actual Becca highlighters at a cosmetic company store for a lot cheaper than even $20. And then 50% off select lashes. You know what? This is a legitimate good sale this time. I'm not even kidding. I'm actually excited. So you can get Glamnetic lashes for 15% off for $15, not 15% off. Lily lashes. Oh yes, for $14. I still love my Lily lashes. Honestly, if I didn't own so many lashes already, I would pick up some Lilies because there are some good lashes in the sale. These are brand new, these half lashes from Lily. These are awesome, you can get them for $10. Oh, highly recommend. I will be updating you guys every day on my community tab to show you my picks for the day. So just prepare for that, but I'm excited for this day as well. And then Thursday, September 1st, Ferreo, my mother-in-law just bought one. She really likes it, so you can get that for $80. I don't use this anymore. I just like to use my hands. I find that my skin is really sensitive to these, but they are nice for really getting in there, especially on days that you wear heavy makeup. We also have this... Shrivectin wrinkle recode this thing. Um, if you've tried it, let me know in the comments down below if it works. I have no experience with that. Uh, let's see, Clinique even better all over concealer and eraser for $14.50. I've heard very good things about this concealer, a moisturizer, and crepe erase. So I haven't tried these. I can't speak on this. Uh, this isn't the most exciting day for me personally. Friday, September 2nd, 50% off this perfume from Lancome. Is it just going to be this? Yes. So if you like this scent, that's good. I'm not a big scent person. I don't like spending too much money on fragrance, but Monsoor Big from Lancome will be 50% off. This is a normal sale that they typically have. I haven't tried this mascara in forever. I remember liking it, but I don't know, maybe my thoughts have changed since then. Another Elemis Resurfacing Facial Wash. Everything that I've used from Elemis, I've really loved, so anytime I see that they have a deal, I think it's really exciting because they are pricey. And then this will be a app exclusive. These are all female founded brands. So like Grande Cosmetics, I really enjoy, but I think from what I can see on this page, this is all that I'm interested in. I've also heard good things about Indie Lee. I don't know about Teamy Blends, but anyways. Saturday, September 3rd, the big one for me is going to be 50% off the Benefit Brow Pencil. This is a staple in so many people's collections. This is the time to stock up on brow pencils because we all run through them like water. So I know a lot of you, this is your staple eyebrow pencil. So keep an eye out September 3rd for that. But we also have this Glam Glow Mask, which nobody really uses Glam Glow anymore. And then Clarins is a really good brand and you get their eye cream, which is quite pricey. So that's a good time to pick up skincare. I don't speak on skincare so much because I don't have the experience, nor do I consider myself qualified to speak about skincare but this is a good time to pick up skincare because skincare is so pricey. So if you see something that you want, I'm not going to hold you back. Sunday, September 4th. Wow. 
this is a really good sale. They've stepped it up. 50% off the NARS Afterglow Balms. You'll get these for $14. Bobbi Brown Eyeliners. These are classic from the brand. $16. I used to use these in my bridal kit. One of my all-time favorite medium coverage glowy summer foundations right here. The Essay Lauder Future Hydra Rescue for $25. Mine is kind of old. Halfway considering picking this up for $25. Originally $50. Yes, and then we have some treatment stuff, which I'm not even excited about because the other three are so stinking good. Okay, what's next up? 50% off Beauty Blender Bio Pure Makeup Sponge. That's really good if you use the green sponge. I personally prefer the pink. MAC Mascara, meh. Steel Estate All Day Waterproof Eyeliner, meh. You don't need to spend that. And then this one right here, Strivectin Vitamin C Moisturizer, meh. Oh, and this. Meh. Okay, so for me, this is the most meh day. Not as excited about this one, but I don't know if you see anything, use anything. Okay, Tuesday, September 6th. The only one that I have experience with is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is a classic. I use it in my makeup kit. It's a really nice eye primer if you're on the search for one. $12.50, can't beat it. I don't buy this anymore because I normally get them in samples from Urban Decay orders, so I'm overloaded with eyeshadow primer potion. But if you use this on the reg, that's a good deal. And I do love Shiseido Skincare. They're one of my favorite brands. You can get their Wrinkle Smoothing Day Cream. I think Shiseido really, really works. And I mean, you'll see right here, this cream is $70. You can get it for $35. And then we have Cosara and Paracone as well and it looks like Paracone has a good number of products that will be 50% off so that's a deal and a half. Wednesday September 7th Bare Minerals Liquid Foundation is on sale. Never tried this before so can't speak on it as well as the Lancome Eye Cream and 50% off select clean beauty products. I don't think I have experience with any of this stuff so for me, I can't say too much about this day. Okay. <laughs> Thursday, September 8th. This is a brand new mascara from Tarte. The Tarte Tubing Mascara. I'm excited because it's new, but I also don't like this mascara, so I don't really recommend it. It is really difficult to get off, and I find it doesn't even really do much for my lashes, so I'm not a fan of that. But it is interesting that it's brand new and it is 50% off. We also have some Patchology eye patches. I enjoy the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleansing Daily Foaming Wash. This is really good. It's one of their staple products in their lines. So that's a really good deal. As well as Dermalogica. And then Mented, I believe is a black owned brand. So you can get their lip liner and lip gloss for a very good price. It's already very good price to begin with. So that's pretty cool. Friday, September 9th, I'm excited that you can get 50% off Jaclyn Cosmetics. It is the Accent Beam and Mood Light Highlighters. So the powder highlight, the pressed powder, and then the loose powder highlights, that is a really good deal. Oh, and the Mood Light Luminous Powder as well. This is a very nice powder as well. So this is a pretty good deal. I have seen them on a bigger discount in the past on Morphe, but if you missed out on that, this is a good time to pick them up. They're very nice highlights. Jaclyn Cosmetics does a good job with highlights. Anything else interesting? Tula Acne Clearing and Tone Correcting Gel. Josie Moran is a great brand. We have the Pure Oregon Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. Fresh, that looks nice. And a Cosmetic Superhero Mascara, which I don't care about. For me, the most exciting, I would say, is the Josie Moran, because I really do believe they have beautiful products. And then, of course, the Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlight. But you can see there's going to be a surprise beauty seal on that day as well that we don't know. Saturday, September 10th, the It Cosmetics Oil-Free Matte. I enjoy this. I believe I decluttered it because it got old, but this is really, really nice. I actually have a comparison between this one and the original if you want to check it out. It's a little bit older at this point, but very good. I do like that. It Cosmetics does a good job with their CC creams. 
50% off Ulta brushes, the IT brushes for Ulta. That's actually a really good deal because those are high quality. 50% off Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks. I find their lipsticks to be a little dry, but it is $11. And then the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte and Luminous Eye Color. I've never tried these, so I can't speak on these. Best deal for me is going to be the IT Cosmetics deals on this day if you like it cosmetics complexion products and are looking for some high quality brushes taking us into the next week sunday september 11th this is a really good day 50 percent off urban decay all-nighter setting spray i use this in my bridal kit because it really does keep the longevity of makeup going for $16.50. I recommend that. ABH Dip Brow. I don't use this anymore. It's a little bit old school, but if you do use that, awesome. What I'm looking at are the Persona Cream Bronzing Multi Sticks. I've heard great things about this product. Hopefully we get this back in stock Dune before they are actually on sale. But I've heard great things about this product. And then the last item for that day was the Bifacil Makeup Remover from Lancome. I don't use this anymore, but I did used to use this back in the day. It is very good. But I prefer micellar water nowadays more. Monday, September 12th, the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm Hydrating Lip Treatment. I don't think I'll end up picking this up. I am interested in this mostly because I haven't tried it and I've actually heard very good things about it. Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Serum and then 50% off cruelty free products. We have Bosha, Sunday Riley, Murad, Sand and Sky. I'm interested in this probiotic exfoliating powder face and scalp because I've been trying to work on my scalp health lately. Tuesday, September 13th. Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes and Bronzers are on sale. I recommend if you're looking for a nice long-lasting powder blush to go into these Amazon Amazonian <laughs> uh, powder blushes. They really do last a very long time. I use them when I did bridal makeup on my clients always because they wouldn't fade throughout the day. I used the bronzer before, wasn't that impressed. Mostly excited about the blush for sure. Also, Smashbox Primer is on sale. This is their original. This is always on sale. You don't need to run out and get it. Origins Under Eye Cream, 50% off the Beauty Bakery Flower Baking Powder. I've never tried that before. 50% off the Such, I can't say her name, Facial Roller. She's very big in social media, so that's kind of neat to see her product on sale, as well as this beautiful eyeshadow palette from Lorac will be $25. This is stunning. TBT, what a throwback Lorac is. Very beautiful. I've fallen off of Lorac, but it's very exciting to see that on sale. Wednesday, September 14th. If you wear Estee Lauder skincare, take a look at that right there. That's a pretty good deal. I'm excited about the 50% off MAC blushes. Powder blush, mineralized blush, and glow play blushes. I'm in particular a fan of the Glow Play blushes, but their powder blushes and mineralized blushes are also amazing. If I was still actively doing clients, I would totally pick up some MAC blushes in general, like the powder blush and the mineral blush for my kit because they have beautiful shades. Melba is one of my favorites if you're looking into the powder blushes. So that is a really great steal that day. Anything else? Ooh, Kopari. I love Kopari body care. So you can get their body butter for $16. This is really good. I've used this before and then St. Tropez Self Tan Express Kit. Mm, okay, that's about it in this. I've never heard of this before. Anyways, moving on there. Thursday, September 15th, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Serums. I've never tried. This looks like a heavy skincare day. We have microdermabrasion tool. That's pretty cool for a 50% off. The Derma Blend Loose Setting Powders. These are always on sale. Buxom Powerful Plump Lip Balm, okay? And then 50% off Clear Solutions. Eh, nothing really calls out to me this day personally. I'm kind of looking at this, but I know I'm not going to pick it up, but still very, very neat. September 16th, Clinique Mascara and Makeup Remover. Lancome Serum an eye cream, plenty high impact lash amplifying serum. Not my favorite day, probably won't even post about the sales this day. Nothing's calling out to me, but again, I'm not a skincare freak. And then the very last day of this sale, Saturday, September 17th. This is a good day. 
They're finishing off with a good one. 50% off Kylie Cosmetics Matte Lip Kits. I mean, these aren't anything to write home about, but I do love the colors in the line. You can see it's endless. I just finally decluttered my... Kylie liquid lipsticks from before the rebrand and I was so sad that I had to get rid of Mary Jo K. Do they have this here? Mary Jo K is one of my favorite reds. I'm kind of interested in getting a new one. I don't know if I will because I don't need another red lipstick. But anyways, tons of shades. Really great deal. $16 for a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. Again, not a crazy, unique, or exceptional formula, but good enough. For $16, I think it's worth it. For the kit, Too Faced Hangover Primers. Oh my gosh, it's been forever. I decluttered. Well, I didn't even declutter. I literally used up this Hangover Primer. This isn't the first time it's in the sale. It's great. I loved it. It was my go-to for a couple of years. Haven't used it in a while, but that's a really great primer. Peach and Lily, I've heard. Kelly Gooch talking about peach and lily products so i'm interested and then 50 percent off rem beauty eyeliners so these are the first time that these are on sale i've used both nothing really stood out to me <laughs> so that's that i think the eyeliner pencil you have to really kind of draw it on but once it was on it wasn't going to move and then the eyeliner i didn't really like the packaging itself like this part right here you see was too wide so I couldn't really get the shape that I wanted. Anyways, those are my thoughts on what's going on with the 21 days of beauty this time around. I'm pleasantly surprised. I told myself before I even looked that I was gonna look at it from a more positive aspect because not everybody owns the amount of makeup that I do. But even as a makeup owner with a large collection, there are some really good, fresh, new, and exciting deals in this sale, and this is definitely the best one that they've had in a while, so I will be posting my favorite deals every day if you want to shop through my links. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know the deals that you are most excited about, and if there was anything that I kind of skipped over because I never tried, particularly skincare, let me know if there's anything good that you would recommend for anybody really to try out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.